Since you're on Discord, you are probably a gamer, and I'm going to expose a game that will steal your passwords. Every single one of them. Bye-bye. Now, here's the thing. I'm not talking about one specific game. I'm actually talking about a scam technique that utilizes games. You might get a message from some completely random person on the internet, or in some really rare cases, you can actually get a message from one of your friends that you've talked to for a while. It's just because they got hacked. And they will ask you a very simple question. They have this new project, and they need your help in finishing it. It's a 2D adventure project. It's a game and they just need people who can play and give a review for four to five minutes. Being a game reviewer is completely fun and it's a lot of people's dream jobs and this person is going to give you ten dollars from PayPal or they will give you one month of Discord Nitro. This is an absolute steal for four to five minutes of your time. Who would pass up on this offer? And it tells you to go to cursedbetablogspot.com, this website, and you need to keep in mind this beta key password. So I go to this website and I see this cursed game and it looks like a pretty interesting game. Pixel art, fighting, 2D, gosh, beautiful. And when I scroll down, there's this nice, beautiful download link that I can click on. So I'm going to right click this download link and I'm going to open it up in a, a virtual machine because for some odd reason, I just don't trust this file. I wonder how I could have this suspicion, you know? Is it because the video says scam in the title? So I'm on my virtual machine and I downloaded this setup.rar and it's from discordapp.com and this is very important for later on because I'm going to show you how to take these down. But I'm going to open up this rar file with 7-zip, and yes, the quality isn't the best, okay, I'm on a virtual machine on the internet, and I need to enter in that special little password. Now, of course, I actually don't remember it, I just have something called two monitors where I can look at the password on the other one. But I get this setup file folder, I open it up, and I get this game, setup.exe, and you know what? I'm gonna right-click it and run it as administrator, because, I mean, why not? Let's give it the best shot of working properly so I can get that $10 or free Discord Nitro for one singular month. Oh, well, that's weird. Oh, oh, something's happening. Oh, my Chrome just closed. This is some very strange behavior from a video game. Never, I mean, I've never opened up Call of Duty, Warzone, whatever, Modern Warfare 37. I never open up my game and my Chrome just magically closes. Now my acting skills are garbage, so I think I'm done with my little facade, but I basically just ran a malware that stole all my passwords and sent it to some random server on the internet. Now, I've already looked at this malware sample before, so we're going to do a little bit of a deep dive to see where did it end up? Because the thing with malware is that when you download it, it will just go to somewhere on your drive. It will hide itself so that you can't get rid of it. Now, this isn't for every single malware variant on the planet. This is just for this one specific one. But if I go down here and I just type in run, because I don't know if I can press the Windows key, and I go to local app data percent, it's just like you're installing Minecraft mods. And there's this cute little temp folder, and I open it up, and there's a little bit of things, but I could see this very long uh, file name that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense and when I click on it oh what is that there's my cursed.exe this isn't the setup file but it has the same icon you know what I wonder what these chrome 100% pack and chrome 200% pack contain well I hate to break it to you but it uh it contains all my chrome passwords yes every single time you use a website and it pops up with that little chrome thing telling you to save your password do not use that please please do not you want to save your password in like a password manager saving your passwords in your browser just opens up your whole experience to get annihilated by this malware. So I'm going to terminate this analysis here, and looking at the report of the malware, we can see that it has a score of 10 out of 10, and that's not a passing grade in terms of uh, doing well in school, it's a passing grade in terms of, yes sir, this is malware 100%. So what does this malware do? Well, it's called Luma, or Luma, I, I don't know, it's pronounced some weird name, but it's spelt like that, and it is an info stealer. It steals your username and passwords. And just to verify that, I went on triage in their little files section, and remember that curse.exe file when I went to the app data thing. It is reading the file, see users, admin, app data, local, Google, Chrome, user data, local state. Why would it be in my Chrome user data? Bing, 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 that's right, baby, it is getting my passwords. And for some people, they might use Microsoft Edge and guess what this thing is doing? It's reading, oh, see users, admin, app data, local, Microsoft Edge. Oh, there's user data down there and it's reading those files. It is scooping up your passwords and putting them in a nice little nifty file to send off to the person 
person that purchased this malware. Wait, what do you mean by that? Well, if I go to my little analysis website, aka Google Luma Stealer, and get the first Google result, as you can tell on Malpedia, Luma, or Luma, is an information stealer written in C sold as a malware as a service. Which basically means that if someone wants to send someone malware, they just hit up these guys, they pay the exorbitant fee of like 200 to to $1,000, and they now have access to malware to steal people's usernames and passwords. Now this wiki does say that Luma's capabilities are those of a classic stealer with a focus on cryptocurrency wallets. If you had some sort of, you know, cryptocurrency wallet, it would suck that bad boy up and send it off to the hacker where they could spend all your cryptocurrencies, the bitcoins and the ethereums. Now the thing with Luma Stealer is that people use it in many different ways. So for example, there's a lot of references on this website. I, I absolutely love this website. But as you can see, it has a Medium article, Luma Stealer targets YouTubers via spear phishing email. And in this very, very in-depth article, which I absolutely love, I'll have this bad boy linked in the description, it goes through how a certain YouTuber was hacked and their channel turned into one of those oh-so-dear Tesla live streams. The saddest fate for every single YouTube channel on this planet. Now, let's move back a little bit and let's focus on the game specifically. So if I go to this Blogspot article, you can see that it is this cursed game. How did they get all these art assets? This must be a different game. And of course, scammers are really damn stupid, because all it takes is a little bit of a copy of their description and a paste into Google, and oh my goodness, Eldorand on Steam, and if you click on it, and whoo, that definitely kind of looks like the game. Actually, that looks exactly the same. This is, in fact, the game. And this Eldorand game has actually been a target of a lot of impersonation. I've actually seen this scam, like the specific download my game scam, probably about a hundred times. I just never got around to it, but every Every single time it is copying this one specific Eldorand game, which is extremely upsetting. In fact, just adding on, there was actually one specific scam that copied the exact website and changed the logo just to match their own little game, and instead of having the Steam button, it was a download link to a sketchy file that would steal all your usernames and passwords. And now it's my favorite time of every single scam, I'm trying to take this bad boy down. So the first thing that I noticed is that if I go to this download link, it is a CDN discordapp.com link. If I just copy the link address and I paste it into my browser, as you can tell, it is Discord app. This is a file hosted on Discord servers. And since it's on Discord, I think it's time to go to my favorite page on the internet, the Discord Trust and Safety Submitter Request Form. So how can we help? Well, believe it or not, I need to report abuse or harassment, cheats, hacks, malware, or cracked accounts, and I need to say it is malware, specifically malware files shared via CDN. Now the thing with trust and safety is that there's no template I can show you. So uh, this is what I did. It seems pretty coherent, but you just give them the URL to the file that is malware, the password of the RAR file. Then what I did is I also gave them my little triage report that also contains the URL in here so they can see, whoa, that's malware. And finally, for good measure, I also gave them a link to the website, the cursed website that contains the malware download link. And finally, I gave them a little screenshot of this message here just so they understand the context. Because trust and safety definitely needs some help in terms of context, because I've seen the stuff you guys have sent them, and it is complete incoherent garbage. Anyways, I sign it off with a little heart so they know it's me, and I click on submit. Now, it's never good to rely on one single person to moderate and get rid of the scam. So the next step is to go to fish.report. Oh, my favorite website. I love this thing. Paste in the link to this weird sketchy website, this blogspot website. Paste it in, report as malicious, and just go through their basic steps. So the first one is to report to blogger. Now, I do have eyes, and I figured out how to do this before hand, but if you go to the website, it's just on the left here, this big, beautiful report abuse button. And the process is easy, just report content, enter in the URL, it contains malware and viruses, and it was probably a good idea if I just copy and pasted what I put in the Discord report, but now I have to type it all over again. So I gave him a quick little rundown, easy peasy lemon squeezy, and how did I feel when I saw this post? Man, these are some tough emotions, am I either ashamed, disgusted, or in danger? <laughs> I'm, I felt endangered, report. Now since I know blogger will probably do absolutely nothing, it's time to go back to fish.report and report the next couple things. So report to Microsoft Security Intelligence. First off, let me copy that URL. Click on the big beautiful report button. Report this website, 
now wear English L, 5, N, G. Close that bad boy and report to Google Safe Browsing. And what this does is basically gives you a massive red warning in Chrome whenever you click on this link. And it just helps people that don't understand that this is a very plain and obvious scam. Don't download sketchy EXE files or any file from someone random on the internet, especially if they're promising you money. They are trying to trick you into giving them your username and passwords. Anyways, I need to click I am not a robot and fill out the same report, which I once again forget to copy and paste every single time. Anyways, I sent the same thing to Google because uh, obviously no one will actually read this. This is all just magic robots that are somehow dictating our lives. And finally, that is as much as I can do. But now all I have to do is wait and hopefully Discord or Google or Microsoft or Blogger will do something to take down this one scam. Every single time one of these scams get taken down, <laughs> another one pops up. And that's the sad reality with scams is that you can never stop them, but it's all about raising awareness. So uh, share the video, please. I would greatly appreciate appreciate it, but also getting a couple of us little fellas to go around and report these scams to try and get it taken down. Anyways, I think it's time for me to kill my time by actually playing the real Eldorand game, which has some very positive reviews. Anyways, sweetheart, I love you very much. Have a fantastic morning, night, whatever time it is for you. Mwah!